All right, family, what's up? It's your boy, May, and I was about to watch this um, One For All showcase for Heroes Online 2, and I was thought like, hmm, let's just make a little reaction video and see what's talking about. We'll follow like, this development, see what this game's going on, because like I said, I really enjoyed the first version of this game, and while there's a couple things I don't particularly look like about this game, like visually a bit, I still think it's going to be a solid game. I really do, um, because I, I really enjoyed the first one. There's no way, man, if he just makes an improvement, version like a 2022 to a 2023 version with some better combat and some cool stuff and it should be a solid game you know what i'm saying it should be a solid game now I'm, I'm not caring about the grind but i want to see like some stuff he pulls out you know so we're going to check this out and see what this he was talking about. you know what i'm saying i think i don't know when he says it's gonna be i thought he said it's gonna come out like this year or something like that right it's like this fall or something like that they say that am i am i lying to myself i thought i remember like paid actually gonna become a relatively soon so we'll follow it Hopefully, he has some cool curtain or double curtain coming back. And, um, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's see, let's see what he's talking about. Let's see, let's see this in, in depth. We saw a bit of it in the last video. But let's, let's, really, let's really take a look at it. The first quirk showcase in Heroes Online 2. Uh, we're also going to be getting into quirk skill trees, so, how that works. All right, so he's the first know, showcase. The general structure. We're going to see the first skill tree. Game. You'll get a good idea. Of that and he's going to give video. us a, a general structure uh, so of how yeah, the game is going to flow. Started, or like uh, at least like skills and stuff. We get started with the quirk itself. After we're done with the showcase, I'll just show a little bit of extra stuff to do with customization. Um, just some other little thing. Hey, bro. what's up? Is he flying with tail? Hold on, look at my man's in the back. Just my man's in the back is flying with tail quirk. Or hasn't been shown. Look at that one more time. That you might have missed. Some other little things that you might have Bro, missed. go back far enough. Just show my man is literally in the background flying with tail quirk. Um, just some what other just little took off? That you might have missed or okay. hasn't been shown yet. Movement abilities. I'm not confused by some things. All right, so straight. right here we're going to see... All right, so this looks, bro, the, 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 it looks uncanny. Like, is this like the old one? Is it just this color? It looks like exactly like the old one. So we got quirk, combat, we got upgrades, we got skill, inventory, stats, party settings. It looks almost just like the old UI, I think. Like, it looks see. so similar to me. Let's say you've just rolled one for all. <laughs> Confirmation you know, of double quirks. You got quirk, you really want the wall. Uh, all right, so you have to first unlock your ability, it looks like. Oh, these are two abilities. So it's gonna be have a level behind it, and it's gonna have a cost, and it got like two little icons or whatever this means. Maybe it's like the skill type behind it. You see the quirks first of all. Uh, ignore these numbers. The level, cost, whatever. The, this is so we get two abilities. So we get leaps into the air, launch years of. Uh, so it's a movement ability. Okay. So I wonder if every quirk is going to have a movement ability because we saw tail flying away and. This guy leap. I don't know if it's gonna be a, a common thing we see, but the final maybe thing it is. Uh, and there's also some item requirements for some moves, but oh, he said some moves have not, item requirements. That's gonna be interesting. Gotta got grind so items to unlock up, skills. I can see that being very what? annoying. Like I can already see that being extremely annoying. I don't know how annoying it's gonna be, um, but I can definitely see that becoming a issue for me. So like. Imagine you get a quirk, and you just spend all day spinning for it. You finally get it, and now you need a a point one percent drop to even unlock the skills for it. After you just have to get a point one percent drop, a point one percent spin. Oh my god, I can see that becoming a problem. And if each skill has different requirements to it, oh, I can see, I can see the grind, the, the noise. I can see it. Is it going to come to that? Not necessarily. But I can definitely see it becoming. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. When you unlock skills, as I'm doing, right? You know. More okay, so, so we saw. Um, similar to the first game, it's something you can spawn first charge you know, multiple times. And for those of you guys who are talking about VFX, you can see the Delaware Smash looks a bit better than it did in the first. Say so improve the Delaware Smash uh, in the, so yeah, uh, from the, the first, first one. Game, it still times. looks ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's uh, nothing it's like mind blowing. Nice. So. I'm improving it or whatever was the last. It's not a big deal to me because it still looks yeah, like cool. you know it just looks super dated. But it's just a shockwave punch, so I'm you not really. You can spam multiple times. You know, knock back, etc. And VFX isn't the the end all be all. I like. You can get it. To I'm okay with simple just effects. Simple so. back and damage. Going up. Especially if it, it folds the game. Like Voxel Blade had really simple uh, effects, but uh, it felt really felt good in the game. Oh, I think he used the jump right here. Upgrades and stuff. 
you can get it to do more than just take a look at this game lock back and i'm already just clicking through the video uh, i'm trolling yeah. powerful lead i don't want to watch this video for 16 minutes though that is used yeah. for like v going up vertically for a little bit of mobility maybe if you're trying to get up to somewhere uh its first version is just you going up but there are pa there's a passive okay powerful lead will knock some enemies point near point of ascension you can unlock called leap upgrade where you can do damage to enemies like that are near you when you're going up. wait do you carry them up uh, and you'll see that's a common theme sometimes you'll have an ability and then you have like a passive or more okay, pass upgrades we get that yeah. he's blocked that but you get the gen white whoa tp like, dashes move along, uh, so we got to destroy Delaware, pass so down destroy. here i mean destroy smash destroy is uh so Delaware like Detroit upgrade. It's a move that you it's not one you spam, you just use it once. It's bigger, you know, it does more damage. Yeah. Etc. Big old bi the bigger version. Uh yeah. It's fun. So you have the uh, quick little small pops and you got the bigger one. We have you got ground, ground smash, smash right here. And then as you can see, this ground smash grew into two more trees. It's fun. So Harrison yeah, that's that. Also, uh you have hyper armor for it that you can oh what the heck hyper armor pretty interesting uh you have so you can also utilize your thumb so you have maximum of five delaware smashes rather than four okay oh here's a delaware smash X Del it, and then ground smash hyper armor now i wonder if you have to make a choice or can you just get both of these well i guess depending on level it's gonna cost different amounts maybe Maybe you will ha have like, or maybe you can get all of them this time around. I remember like at first you could only get like so much with like your skill points, but like I said, ground smash animation cannot be interrupted. Can that is tough. So maybe that is tough. Attacking you and then you start using it. They can't. You can one, m one, m one, m one. Then now you can just charge it up and you can't. They can't get out. They have to take the damage. So and you have to make a choice. Oh, so, so he did confirm that. He said sometimes, like you gotta like go down a route. Okay, I, I was hoping like, he's gonna to make less like, some choices, and like you couldn't just get everything. And I was like, okay, um, okay, 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 okay. Because uh, difficult to explain, but once you guys get your hands I get on it, the game, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, it will all make sense. Mess up with the decision making. Uh, so what this does is just basically, your Delaware Smash is up. The skill tree is cool and the upgrade. God damn! This game is. This game is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You see how far that went? Makes sense. Sheesh, the uptime uh, is crazy. So what this does is just basically your Delaware Smash is up for longer. So yeah, you see my Bro. Delaware Smash now. It should go for a lot, duh, a much further distance, duh. And you all know it's it fell on the ground. I saw that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it, it just you hit the, you hit the wall, <laughs> and then Joy just plopped to the ground. Here, what the, the hell? Uh, you can do this. These are things that you need to unlock. Which is why uh, we're going to be moving further down. So, unlocking Manchester. You got a lot of stuff to unlock. Oh my god. And, it's a lot of uh, stuff to unlock to get your Manchester to St. Louis, smash, which goes into. Oh, but I'm cool with like the, the uh, depth in the trees and stuff like that. But like, so, sheesh, that's balls, a lot. Right, on them. Uh, uh, passives and stats in the trees first, and stuff like that. You'll see it applies like a green ailment on him. Oh no. You'll see it applies like a green ailment on him. And he'll yeah. take more damage from any one for all attacks because of the passive that I just unlocked. Nice. So you've got St. Louis smash here, similar to the first game. Dang, so every time, forward. if you get this passive, so every time you hit somebody with a, with a, whoo, you just do like, more I'm damage. I'm in the air with someone. What if I look like, at I'll move with them. I like the kick it's move. It's supposed to help you to just like stay near them to continue oh, a combo oh, or whatever. Oh. <sighs> I have, Not I've bad. I've had it equipped, you might have noticed, but yeah, it's a dash that's unique to full cow. Sorry, let me, let me click, okay. So yeah, it's a pretty cool dash. Whilst you're dashing you have some hyper armor so you can't be stunned hype we'll armor damage, while dashing yeah. yeah it's pretty cool i'm not pretty sure cool why person. you mm, it's a bit more unique like you like flash step and then we'll lightning the later on. why are you and flash step lightning tp yeah that's weird i'm not yeah, gonna lie to you like but it is what it is it is what it is they'll have a separate combat Okay, but the trees are looking like pretty cool. Like, yeah, like you got a lot of yeah. depth to trees. If every tree is going to be like this, yeah, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Bit, but like, I don't know if they're going to go in depth. This is one for all, and people usually do. Oh. Up to like 30 muscular damage. I didn't I didn't never notice that. Let's see what he's talking about over there. Muscular damage you gain. So now, look, I'm getting pretty nice. So no stats? Of customization options in the game to make your unique character. What the hell? Unique hero, villain. Vigilante. Where's the stats? Uh, civilian, whatever. Where's my now, stats, buddy? Why is red? But it's Maybe there's no stats on that.
Maybe it just be was, like Insta plus that. So it'll show you. He might be one, you know. Uh, at least he admitted it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Evan, Giant with Indy Clark is going to be probably a meta. I ain't going to lie. Straight. All your it's skills just get a lot bigger. But you yeah, got to um, remember, you are bigger as well. So um, you are a bigger target as well. So you're probably yeah. a bit slower as well. Yeah, but yeah, first look at that. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Let me see some more. But I'm pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I definitely like the more depth in the, in the trees and stuff like that. And how, like, that's pretty cool with the depth and the passives and the stuff like that. Um, Hopefully the, the inventory with the gear has, like, that's to it but um yeah this video turned out way longer i tried to click through and make it quicker but uh yeah that's about it i'll catch you boys my next one i'm gonna head like this up make sure you guys go support the video yourself and um i'm out peace